What's going on guys? This uh Cool Fred here. Welcome back to uh Cool Fred's Garage. I'm going into to uh part four of the build. Um uh, pretty much out to running some errands and kind of getting things settled. Uh at the I guess a sort of long day of work. Because I got off around six, but just running a few errands and doing stuff like that. Finally getting a chance to get back on the on the box Chevy. Um, I'm in the process of uh, uh, test fitting the radiator. Uh, I was in the process of fabricating this uh, brackets for the fan assembly, but I was just kind of a little unhappy about, you know, not as satisfied of how uh, this bracket is kind of looking. I mean, it's kind of like a bracket that's meant for um, like oil coolers and um, transmission coolers. I can still probably use purposeful use it with something, but uh, I just want to kind of make something a little bit more neater. So I was down getting some hardware and some other stuff at the track supply store. So um, I got some some mild steel. Uh, I believe it's like 48 inches long, one inch wide, and an eighth inch thick. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna bend this up and cut it and kind of see play around with it. Uh, I had also had some like some some miscellaneous brackets from Summit Racing that came in like a little kit, but I would have had to modify those too. So, uh, this may be the better route. So those. Those that I ended up getting from Summit, I'm probably just going to end up taking those back um, and uh, returning those and buying something else. So uh, that's what we got going on so far. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just try to get get this uh, bent like into like a little L shape. And then I'm going to cut it off where I need to and drill some holes and try to go from there. So we'll see how it turn out. All right, uh, this is what we got so far. Um, I got this uh, bracket right here fabbed up, and uh, I pretty much uh, I took my light off and, and closed the hood just to make sure like we don't have any clearance issues because I know we got this little area up here. But uh, yeah, uh, got this bracket right here fabbed up, uh, and it pretty much just go right in there so it's a nice a nice good fit uh right there so um and i got the rubber cushions at the bottom so i shouldn't have to put anything down there i might kind of put a little something in the middle right here just to kind of go up against the radiator uh i don't know we'll see but right now it's fitting nice and good as long as i get something on the other side to secure that over there i should be good to go so I'm gonna work on kind of uh, replicating something close to this for this side right here. Um, I'm hoping I can use maybe this mount like these two here, kind of like I did over here. Um, but it may be a little off a little bit, so I'm gonna kind of um, I'm gonna kind of just go ahead and measure it and. Uh, Get get it get it close, and then I'll play around with the the little details later. So uh, it's cruising along pretty good. All right, so here we go right here. I'm in the process of uh, making that second bracket. Uh, pretty much, I just um, got this eighth inch steel on this bending brake here. Um, this bending brake pretty much is uh, it say you can bend up. To 18 uh, 18 gauge this is eighth inch so this is a couple this is maybe like a couple notches thicker but uh you can still kind of make it work you may have to try it like a couple times like you may get it about a, at a 45 degree angle then you got to come back again and then um for the full for the full 90 so just like one of the ones you just put a couple little clamps on it couple little press clamps, C clamps, and 
I got a couple C clamps and then I got this one little clamp that's pretty good from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, this right here is one from Track Supply. And then this is just an old Craftsman. So, but uh, it looks like it's doing the job. So I got it kind of almost like I want it. So I'm pretty much going to uh, go over there from here and just kind of measure to see how long I need it. Then I'm going to cut that off with uh, this little portal cable. Uh, it's like an angle grinder, but I got a cutting wheel in there. I got a DeWalt cutting wheel in there. So I'm going to cut that off and then I'm going to. Uh, Polish everything up with this thing right here. Get all the edges smooth. And then I'll figure out where to drill my holes and then we'll pretty much be on our way. Um, after that, you know, it'll pretty much uh, be in, installed. It'll just be ready for, for wiring. Uh, I'm still waiting on that drill bit to come so I can put that alternator pulley on. So that's the last thing I'm liking there for the, for the, uh, for the belt drive and uh, a little bit of wiring. I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm about to extend some of this wiring and put some new ends on here uh, because our alternator alternator was up in this location. Now it's moved down uh, down here, kind of at the lower middle area of the engine. So uh, you know, it's just step by step. It's it's coming along though. It's coming along. bracket deluxe all right here we go uh, um, this video right here or this segment right here is about to come to a close um, so this is what it looks like uh, pretty much the fans installed um, this is the passenger side bracket right here so everything that they right there fitting pretty good um, the fans in Nice and snug. I mean, it ain't going nowhere. So, 
no no crazy movement and nothing. It's 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 nice and snug. So that's what we want right there. I've already hooked up the transmission and transmission cooler lines over here. Got the lower radiator hose in. Uh, just got to connect the upper radiator hose. Uh, that drill supposed that drill bit should be here tomorrow. So uh, once that drill bit get here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, enlarge the the hole to open it for the alternator pulley and get that on there. And then we'll pretty much uh, we'll pretty much be full stride in, in the swing of things there. So it's coming along pretty good. But uh, thank you guys for checking out Cool Fred's Garage. Like and subscribe.